It's seventh race post time from Mohawk. Field of the seventh race, fourth division of the 2004 and inaugural Casual Breeze Stakes. And they're off and trotting. Snow doubt about it from the extreme outside has left very well. Incredible I am. And if Halls could talk along the inside, Umbro Belandra is right up there into the top four and moving over. Trotting through in fifth was B.W. Maja. Tease please was off stride. Taking in line from six, much obliged. Then Whispering Spring and Goddess of Chaos. And after the break, Tease please has gone out of contention and lost all chance and momentum. Incredible I am, the first quarter leader, chased out there by Snow doubt about it. 27 and three. There's no doubt about it. Ray McLean Jr. has this one under urging to try to clear off the lead from a stubborn, incredible I am. There's no doubt about it. If Hals could talk, is going to seize the moment and come out on the heavily spent front end battlers. And we may soon have a three wide charge on the way to the half. Two more lengths back to B.W. Maja in there from fourth. Racing at it from fifth is much obliged and taken in line. Umbro Belandra off the speed. Moving third from last, Whispering Spring, then Goddess of Chaos. And uh, the off-stride distance trailer tease please a huge half of 56 and one if halls could talk made the swoop to the lead they're heavily spent behind her incredible i am is losing ground now circling up on the outside here comes much obliged on the final turn looking to gain second armbro belander stalks with her incredible i am is backing away so is snow doubt about it whispering spring is up and at it off the cones moving widest of all was goddess of chaos out around bw Maja. Tease please is distanced. They're into the stretch. If Halls could talk, 125 and 3. 125 and 3. Track record may be in jeopardy here. If somebody's fresh, and if Halls could talk, is going to seal it out. Let's see what happens on the far outside. Charging up late is BWT Maja. If Halls could talk, whispering spring from a long way back. If Halls could talk, and Trevor Ritchie win the fourth division of the inaugural Casual Breeze, tying the track record, 155 and 2. Over whispering Spring Spring and B.W. Maja looking for third. If Halls could talk, ties the track record in the inaugural Casual Breeze. Number one, if Halls could talk, the seventh race winner from Mohawk. Angus Hall, three-year-old brown filly from Armbro Talk. Owned by Mel Hartman of Ottawa, trainer Renee Larman, driven to victory by Trevor Ritchie. Her first win in three appearances this year, a life's mark and a share of the Mohawk track record. If Halls could talk, 155-2. Thanks again to the Durand family. Tom Durand, June Durand, Ron and Jonathan Durand who campaigned the Great Philly Casual Breeze namesake of this stakes event and the inaugural four divisions tonight. 136 AD. And by Renee Larm and trained daughter of Angus Hall, who uh, I guess was just a victim of circumstance in her first two starts this year, Renee? Yeah, she, uh, you know, her last start, she was uh, maybe a little bit short, but we took a blood on her after, and her white count was a little high. So, uh, you know, she was fight, fighting a little bit of a virus. So uh, we treated her, and I thought she was a lot better tonight. Have you found she's been a better filly this year, uh, having the winner to mature a little bit more? Uh, you know, you took the hobbles off, and I guess that was another question mark coming into the start of the season. Yeah, we, uh, at the start of the year, we took the hobbles off. But last year, she really didn't need them other than just behind the gate. And uh, so she, she has seemed to mature a little bit. So uh, uh, we just hope we can continue from here. Just walk us through the mile. Uh, your chance to see the race flash up. Uh, a solid half and 56 and change, and you're right there in the thick of things. Yeah, we were. Uh, I thought Ray was going to clear there, but Steve was playing a little hardball going to the half, and uh, I think Trevor was thinking the same thing. When soon as Ray was going to clear, he was going to try and remove to the front. But uh, you know, we got shoved three deep, and uh, we cleared to the front. She, uh, it was a tough race for. Her. Off to Woodbine next for the elegant image. Yeah, we'll see how she comes out of this race, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. How about a quick update on Rogue Hall? The Burlington Stakes coming up tomorrow night. Uh, he was eligible. Uh, talk about the thought process in not putting him in. Well, it was six days after the Provincial Cup, and uh, we thought we'd just give him a little, a few more days to get over that. 